Hi guys. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Bruma Ants channel. In this video we're going to build this extremely practical test tube holder. The perfect way to organize your test tube setups. Let's see how to make it. How many times have you tried to keep your test tube setups on a shelf or on a desk, and constantly worrying that they might roll and fall off? If that's you, you have found the right video. Today we're going to solve this problem by creating a test tube holder made of cardboard. This holder is extremely easy to build, and can make your ant keeping journey 10 times easier. With this system you can also better organize your ant colonies, dividing them by species, number of workers, or maybe climate requirements. The first thing that we need to build this test tube holder is as you can imagine, a piece of cardboard. I got this from the packaging of a very famous Swedish furniture company. For the measurements, I've made this quick sketch on a piece of paper. I'm going to put a better version of this sketch available for download in the description of this video. First, we're going to make the two laterals panels, the ones that will hold together all the other pieces. Thanks to the magic of editing, we're done. Now, just like before, we can make the front and bottom panels. In this step, we can also mark the outer perimeter of the two inside panels, the ones that will keep the test tubes in place. Perfect. Now it's time to create the structure of the two inside panels. To do so, we have to grab one of the test tubes that we're planning to put inside the holder. Using a normal ruler, we have to measure the outer diameter of the test tube. With this measure, we can decide how many test tubes we're going to put inside the holder and the distance between them. Mine measure 15 millimeters, so I can put four test tubes inside the holder. Let's mark where the test tubes are going to be. Perfect. Now we can simply use the test tube itself to mark the shape that we're going to cut out later. Fantastic! After retracing the marks we've made before, we can then start cutting. For this job, I would suggest you use a paper cutter, which will make the process a lot easier than if we were to use a normal scissor. To cut the curved part of the holder, you can make lots of tiny holes on the cardboard, in order to weaken the material and make it easier to cut the piece. Once we've made all the needed cuts, we can then start separating the pieces and adjusting the little details. Perfect. The last step is to cut out the thin slices that we're going to need to keep the pieces together. When we have all the pieces, it's finally time to assemble the holder. Fantastic! Now the internal panels. I think it looks awesome. And you? What do you think? Let's add the test tubes. That's it. Now you have an amazing way to organize and preserve your funding queens and young ant colonies. If you want, you can also add a simple lid. 
Now the ants can rest peacefully inside the test tubes, enjoying the total darkness provided by the holder. If you like this tutorial and you love making DIY projects, I would strongly suggest you check out this other video tutorial. In this one, you will learn how to build a Y Tong nest all by yourself. See you soon in another video.